Bakery, who's always finds a willing buyers for second-hand goods. They're, they are good to meet in the old fortress near Freshdale. Maybe they'll make a deal with Lugos. He's got heaps of gold and not a drop of fear for an Kraton. Or is it Kray? Is it Kray? 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 I think it's Kray. <laughs> Please. I can survive. Hey, big man. That's a caravan. Mm -hmm. oh. I want to go fresh. Fresh. Definitely fresh, mate. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> really? I'll give you that impression. Because he was against a fucking psych. That was easy enough. Never that easy. Blood hasn't even dried. Went this way. Another victim. Letter to Yana. Okay. <clears throat> or Yen. Yen? I'll, I'll, I'll say Yen. My dearest son. Ill is our lot of late. Singa's husband's ship crashed in a, a storm during its last expedition. Bjorn survived, thank the gods. But weeks will pass afore his captain builds another and meanwhile life must go on. We weren't taken on for the building, so we're earning no coin. We've eaten our winter stocks now and I fear to think what we'll do when they run out. That's why I'm sending Singa to you and asking for your help on behalf of all of us. If you can, find work for Singa and then Born and I will come to Caerthorn to stay with you. Perhaps there's some work for Bjorn with you at the forge, and if it work is scarce around Tail Thorn as well, we'll then sing out a few co coppers at least, and I'll give it back with interest when we're out of this plight. With belief in your good heart and thanks in advance to your loving mother. Ah, Well, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Because no, we're not dead. <laughs> Double safe. Sometimes you just spawn it. Help much, of course. Because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread carefully. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right. Well, I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. We might meet again someday. Mm. Praise be to Freya, our great mother. Okay. They said the road was fraught with danger. The sea devils awaited any who travelled it, that a bandit lurked behind every tree. But I sacrificed a lamb to Freya and donned an amulet made of falcon feathers, and lo and behold, I traversed the entire isle without so much as a drawing of my sword. I did some damn fine trading along the way, packed my chest so full of silver and other treasures, that my back near snap sending it on the wagon. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. If anything goes as planned, I'll be home by tomorrow around sunset. I owe the goddess mightily for the tender care she has given me. Well, didn't go too good, did it, mate? Because kind of dead. 
Oh, that's a way of them. you witcher though i can give you only a modest gift come by me home it's not far not far the fiend no defeat it no idea yes yes fight it with your fist what a good idea Should I blocked it there? Block it. Come on. I don't know why it does this. It's something. Sword play in a nutshell, folks. Three hits and a dodge. Ooh. It's fast there. Missing son, eh? Okay. Missing son. That's somewhere here. Uh, well, Maybe possible. I mean, I can almost kick his ass easy enough. Need only the entrails. Fussy. Generally, that's what most of them are. Uh, This way. Can you be sure though? Won't get away this time. I don't know. Show me what you got. Oh, oh, cheeky little bastard. Well, well, well. Seems he's learned his lessons from last time. I like it when it does that. Oh, oh. Sometimes it just gets you without this one hit, doesn't it? I could just burn them all day. I think it was probably easier. Does it seem like you can do advanced tactics?
nasty. Just want to heal up just in case. See, sometimes it's just those lucky hits. Combat and a nutshell. Combat and a nutshell. That's why I hate the combat system. That's all you have to do. Yep. Here. Jane or Janie. As I write these words, you're six years old. I am 30. I am in my prime. But I know already I will never teach you how to shoot a bow, nor how to ride a horse or care for a sword. I will never take you on a raid, nor out fishing. Aww. Oh, not going to go on any raids. That's a pure, pure wee thing. I took a wound to my knee during last on my. But here we go. I took an arrow to the knee. I've taken a turn for the worst. It shouldn't have taken more than a few days to heal over. But something got in my blood. Wounds full of pus. It stinks. I'm losing feeling. The druids say it's beyond their help and that I'll bleed to death. But if they cut off my leg, well, that might save you. So I'm preparing for death. You're in for some tough years, lad. Our family's got a great many enemies. I've defended you against them, but now you must be on your own. Perhaps someone will help you. And perhaps not. That's why I had part of our goods hidden in old Owl's house under the floorboards. That that way no one can take it from you. You nor no one can steal it. Well, technically they could. And you can dig it out once you're all grown up. See he wrote a letter, but he was dying anyway. Why would you write a letter and then not send it? I'm just curious. I've asked your mother uh, to give this letter when you start your 18th spring. Uh, you take that silver sun, buy yourself a fine blade, some armor, or a horse, raid the continent. You sacked revenge on the men who did the wrong after my death and make me proud. I never told you this, but I've always felt, always felt it. I love you, Jane. I hope one day we'll meet in halls of Freer's eternal green garden and you'll tell me about your life, the life I was not able to see. You have my blessing, son. Jane, Jane. Oh, look, it's him again. again. See? I had no intention of cheating you. Your coin. You're lucky. I'm not exactly known for being forgiving. Still, take my advice. Find a new profession. Yep. Can I just like chop his head in the monster's nest, eh? Your Yeah, that looks like a bandit camp, not a... I don't know. Oh, a family bed as well. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. has got their nest here. Oh, weird. It's a harpy nest and... a bandit cave. Very curious. It's fresh there. I've got news and bad. Generally, it's, all, it's always good news or bad news. I'll start with the bad. Me and Grimmy went to Lugos, gave us a welcome custom demands, meat, meat and a plenty. But as soon as we unwrapped Kuloi from its leather and asked how much he'd give us for it, he ripped the blade from our hands and knocked us both on our arses, calling us thieves. He then sent us running from the house, bound hounds at our heels. Grimmy runs slow. So they got him. That's fine. Only means a bigger cut for us. Hey, hey, hey. Yep. As always, folks, when running from lions, as, all, as long as you can get in front of the person you're running with, chances are you'll be alright. Now here's the good news. we still got the sword, and now I know how to get rid of it. I'll talk to Steinfein, my brother-in-law. 
and he'll sell Kuloi in Novigrad and split the coin with us after. I know, I know, but I swear, you can trust him. I'll give him the sword on the beach by the whale cemetery on Ark Skillig. I'll go along. So as to not attract attention. I don't know, going along, meeting beside a beached whale. Yeah. Watch out, Lugos might have sent a messenger to kill Tron and to inform them of the theft, just in case. Hole up somewhere, maybe with Aunt Hildy. She'll not, she's not right in the head, but she can rely on her anyway. That's why I don't, why Torn? Why do they do that, folks? That's nice. Why Torn? Bastard, eh? Give us all you got. Well, kind of. Can't kind of. Did all that? Did nothing. Thanks, mate. Harold, you know the place. I'd be forged there. Come and visit. I'll have a reward for you. Are you know. The fuck did you get up here? Bad idea. Yep, bad idea. Your mum shut you out. Neither green will take you back. That move is awesome. I jar some of not had twice disgraced myself. First by running from the field of battle out of fear of dying. The shield I abandoned then rest on the bottom of that marsh. And there it will stay until Ragnarok. Ragnarok, hey. As testimony to my cowardice. The second time was when Or Two Hands convinced me to help him steal Hogger Blackhand's horn. Orn thought I'd sell the horn to smugglers, but I won't. If I want to live like a thief and a bandit, I prefer to not live at all. The one thing I can do to regain my honour is to return the horn to where it belongs, to its ancestral home. Matthios, who Holger charged with getting the horn back, has family near those cliffs. I hope he'll come here for the Equinox Festival. Festival. Then I'll be able to give him back the stolen horn and ask for him to vouch for me with the jowl. That's all I can hope for. I have left. Yeah. You fucked me. Yeah, pretty much. Moved you on his back. He was running away. Well, he's kind of running forward, you could see. Almost managed to find cover. Almost. Almost. Just almost is not good enough. You either do or you do not. Hey, anyone there? How did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted back inside. Hosped the door and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the wraith. Big bugger. Bigger than the rest. And cold flowing from it. Such cold the windows frosted o'er. I can try to help. First though, a couple of questions. Ask a hundred if you will. Just get me out of here. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. 
These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliger warriors alone drink in this tavern. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice, and his tail slinks between his legs like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me die, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Care Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Beware the bandit. Aye, Geralt. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome. As is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. So long. Go round up a few pearl divers and bring them here. But good ones this time. Those turds we brought in from Spring Spike Rog drowned before they could even use could be any use to us. I word. I don't know, maybe the ship really has sunk too deep for any man to pull anything out of it. But it's worth a try. For what the survivor said, it was carrying a mighty hefty load of silver. Monsters on the high road. I guess we'll get it. Well, how long you been making me wait? Good Juria. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nardis find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity is unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Rosrock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on. Pearl grounds aren't far now. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls, and the black ones are a real rarity. 
But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving. Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after Sodden, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Don't try to cheat me. And earn a witch's ire. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldier's honor. Right. Got work for you, Miguel. Ship's going to sail from Faro to Arjon. With loads of hides on board, so at midnight you're to put on the light in the lighthouse and keep it dark until we give the sign with our torch. Well, oh, exactly, exactly. I fucking well, knew well, it was going to do that. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Oh. Symbols of a bonding, manifestations of ill will, focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. Curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Alright. Phew. It's just you. Learn anything? Island's haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Yep, I could just kill you and psh, just leave you here. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Some fucking ring in the mic. Right, finally. Time to get this done. Damn, you got some fucking ring in there. 
Even the simple attack. Chill out here. How was the range, man? Come on, that's incredible. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe, because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... We... Hmm. I understand. Damn, you fucking understand. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 